Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is sort of a departure from our normal schedule, but I have been getting into magic recently and um, these and I have got some Modern Horizon 3 packs that I thought would be a really awesome thing to, you know, introduce this to my YouTube channel. Let's get started and let's let's open this one. All right, so let's see. First thing we get, oh, we got Tessa Karloff is dead. So this, if you don't know, this whole thing is like murder mystery type stuff. I'm gonna look at the rest of the stuff. We've got some counters, uh, we got some stuff here, more counters. Um, it's a pretty cool packaging, really. But let's take it, let's take this out. Ooh. I really like that box. I'm gonna keep everything off to the side afterwards because I genuinely love these packages. Um, ooh, so, so it comes with a D20. Nice, cool D20. This is gonna go off to the side. Uh, so first off, we have, I think, uh, I don't remember exactly how many packs it comes with. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it says on the, the box somewhere. It says, yeah, it comes with six. So that, these are all our, our packs for this. And then it has this, which I'm not going to show y'all yet. So y'all actually stay, stay till the end. I hope y'all didn't see that. But I think that is probably the promotional card that comes uh, in these boxes. And these, uh, Cool. There's a little manual or something. I'm not really sure. Anyway, we got a cool little box. Definitely gonna use this for storage. Nice artwork. <laughs> Even more good artwork. So let's put that off to the side. And let's go ahead and uh, let's l leave these off to the side for a second. And I'll open the other ones and we'll just open all the packs at once. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna open this one. This is the Wilds of Eldraine pre-release. It's very fairy tale esque um, I know these sets have been out for a little bit, um, but I, you know, I've been getting into it, so let's go ahead and open up. I'm very avid about keeping these boxes in pristine condition because I like the way they look. So I'm opening them very slowly and cautiously. Not that I'm gonna keep these, but I uh, will keep the boxes. So again, let's open it up. It says, good people of, uh, let me get that in frame. Good people of Edgewall, come step with my beat past Hamlet and Cottage and Cobblestone Street, o'er river and stream bewitched and beguiled. Oh, follow me, follow me into the wilds. So cool little poem, Got more counters more little little things really nice let's uh let's open this one again let's see what's inside oh i like this art better than the other one and it is really really cool so inside again there's a d20 i think they're these are two different no they're the same shade of purple which doesn't i don't mind because that's like my favorite color ever once again, we have the six booster packs. Uh, very pretty artwork. Um, and oops. also got the thing right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't, I don't want to spoil stuff for y'all, so we'll just keep that there. Got the, another card. And then another one. There. Yeah, one of these. And the little, that thingy. Let's go with pack one. Next up, we've got Thundering Falls, which is a land, it's not a basic land, it's an island mountain, which is really cool looking. Now, 
Now, during this, doing this pack uh, has showed me that um, it, it takes a while to do this. So what I'm gonna do from this point on in the video, I am going to still show every card, but I'm only going to focus on the, uh, the uh, foils and stuff, and I'll separate the piles. So th this pile will probably be the, the uh, cheap stuff. I guess I'll take out the foils in this one, so really just these two. They're not really valuable, but they are still foils. So we'll keep those there. And uh, let's break open the next pack. All right, we've got some art to start us off. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now again, during this pack, I'm just gonna speed through them. Uh, I don't want this video to be too long. And I'll, I will only really focus my attention heavily onto the more valuable or foil cards, if we can, of course. Not a, not a great pack, I mean, not a great two packs to start off with, really. Uh, but, I mean, we have quite a few to go, even in just this box. So let's continue. That's a meticulous archive. So, better with, I think, like, some cool, cooler cards. This one's pretty nice looking. Pretty, very pretty card. Um, so let's keep those. Oh, I also got some of these. I don't know if I remember if I, should, if I showed that. We got these. These will go here. Move on to the next pack. So far, looking kind of bleak for my collector brain, but let's get into the next. My phone ran out of space. Let's go back to Call a Surprise Witness. It wasn't very good. Sorry. Um, Undercity Eliminator, Frantic Scapegoat, Hedge Whisper, and Kylox Visionary Inventor. We've got Convenient. Sorry, just basic ones. Let's go on to the last pack of the murders at Carlisle Manor. Uh, ooh, I just saw the foil that was in this pack. Got undergrowth Recon. a planes. So that is that is all for for the murders at Carlov Manor. That's quite a few cards and only a few foil. The next pre-release group of packs, but first I want to open a Modern Horizons 3 pack. Now these are quite uh, different. They are more expensive than the other ones. 
and two of these I got at one shop and one of them I got at a different shop. So I'm not sure what these will have in them. But we first have a token creature zombie. Not bad, not bad. We've got fangs of Colonia, I believe. We got polluted delta. Deep analysis. We got auger. Trawler, that is hard to say. We've got the creation of Avacyn. That's pretty cool. So that one is going in the nice, nice ones. These are the rest are just going to go on this pile here. The tokens can go to the detective in that corner. You can't see it because everything is off. But now let's get started with the Wilds of Eldrain pack. Packs, I guess I should say. Not worth a lot though. Um, let's put. I like the art in that one, so that will go into cool pile. And did I have a, a foil in this one? Or am I seeing things? That one's a rare to open that there. The next pack, or second pack of the Wild of Up, right? I'm trying to get this done real quick because my phone is about to die. got Ley Line of Anticipation. I don't know. Then we got a mountain. So let's put these two in the nice pile and the rest in the boring pile. The third and halfway point of the other pack. Then the token, token stuff. This one will go in the nice pile. The rest will go in the boring pile. Then we have the next pack. Just some boring cards. That'll go in the token. This one because these two, because they are pretty cool, go in the cool pile. And these ones do not. They go in the boring pile. Now we have the next magic pack. Ooh, this one's pretty nice. We have the Questing Druid. And we've got some more copies of stuff we've already had. So this one's going in the cool pile. The rest are going in the boring. And now we're up to the last of the, uh, what was it even called? Wilds of Eldrain Draft Boosters. That was all for, I'm gonna put this one in the cool pile. This is a boring pile, even though I love the Otter Wizard. Um, however, that was the last one of the big packs, which uh, I thought were really cool. Now let's 
break the, the silence, I guess, with some Modern Horizons 3 real quick. Which I guess I should do it like this. I don't want to damage any of these cards, because these, these cards are supposed to be pretty decent. All of them, I think. We got Servo. Ooh, Pearl Medallion. That is a very foily card. Um, we have Sewing, my co-spawn. Really. Deep analysis, we already got that one. Fell the profane. So, sort of some good stuff in the fun pile. The rest of them go go to the boring pile. Go go to the boring pile. Now, I think we should make some people happy and open up some of the promo cards. I don't remember which one this was in, but it was in one of the things. Is it seriously not open? That is so rude. It's like not okay. There we go. This one I will turn this way. It is literally two cards. Oh, those are cool. But let's look at this one real quick. Um, we'll put those in the uh, really, really cool pile. And uh, we'll. Well, I guess we'll put the other ones into their respective piles. No more boring piles. Ugh. This promo package. I do like how it's clear. It makes it kind of bad for unboxings, though. Okay, so we've got Token Royal and this. That actually doesn't look too bad. But it's not terrible. That'll go in the happy, fun pile. These will go in there. Token piles, I guess. No boring pile, because there's no real boring cards when you're opening promotional packages, I guess. And, oh, the last of the bunch, we have the Modern Horizons 3 Play Booster again. Let's open it correctly. And, very nice. I hope this is good. I will open this fun way. I will show the art. That art is, in fact, signed. Cool, we'll keep that on standby in case that's worth anything. So first up we have a Molten Gatekeeper, Grave Dig, Dream Inferior, Night, Nightborn Unicorn, Cyclops Superconductor, uh, oh, we got another one of those weird names, but this time it's Hydra, pretty cool, we got a seething landscape, a glaring flesh raker, we've got Marionette Apprentice, Vexing Bottle. Let's clean that up a little bit. Razorgrass Field. Annoyed Altasaur. We've got, ooh, Invert Polarity. That looks really cool. That's not bad at all. And this one, ooh, we got a foil on our hands. Serum Visionary. Mm -hmm. 
So these two, I mean, this guy's still a, a foil, so that's that makes sense. And invert polarity, we're pretty good. The rest will go in the boring pile. These will go in the fun pile. These are all our fun piles. All the shinies and cool artworks. So editor's note before the outro guys, I forgot to put like the amount that I earned back. So it is, um, I made about like $73 and 24 cents back. So, uh, that's kind of good. I spent way more than that on these cards, but you know, at this point it's just fun to, to do all this stuff. Anyway, uh, back to, uh, I guess past me. Well, thank you guys so much for staying to the end. If you did, I'm so sorry for the unusually poor video quality, but I am recording in a cabin right now and there's not much room. This is literally like a very tight space. So that's why you can see like all my garbage and trash and whatnot. That's also why this is shaking. Uh, it, it is not steady whatsoever. But thank you all so much for, you know, giving this a watch. If you stayed until the end, you know, maybe subscribe. Um, you know, it would really help out the channel and maybe eventually I'll be able to use money from YouTube, you know, to afford more magic. Uh, stuff like this. I would love to feature more stuff like this. Um, definitely more of actually playing the game too. But uh, thank you all again so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below anything you'd like to see or anything that you feel like I could have done better. Um, th just again, if you made it this far, I know it's going to be probably a pretty decently long video. Thank you so much for staying with me throughout it all. And um, I'll see you next time in another video, whenever that may be. I'll see you later. Have a great rest of your day.